Let's do a watercolor. Uh, this is the quiet day. I'm in my studio. This is more typical of what it's like in here. I'm usually not singing and talking to myself, as some people might, you know, think and accuse. Um, I found this watercolor. I remember owning it. I don't remember buying it. I don't remember ever getting it. And I don't know how it's going to work. This is some watercolor paper. So it's got a rough edge. Let's go with the rough side. So let's do a watercolor and we'll see. I don't know. See how it goes. Uh, it'll be, you know, a couple different videos. I'm just going to use this travel kit right here. Real simple. I'm going to use some travel brushes. I have a lot of travel brushes. I really like them. And uh, this was not a travel brush, but I cut the handle off so that it fits inside. And I just put everything in here. This is a thing I bought. You know, I work at New Masters, and they had this place right next door. So one of my highlights of being at New Masters was running over to this uh, place. I put water in here. This is where I usually put other stuff. Um, but I don't drink, so I guess that's, you know, kind of... Uh, it works, you know, you can put alcohol in here, but water works really well. And then you can pour the water in this cap, which Velcro's onto your sketchbook. And then this I stole from a um, cruise ship. Um, it was a napkin, and I thought it would make a really good watercolor thing. So I have a lot more of it somewhere, but I stole it. Um, this one here is a really cool little watercolor set. And I also have Velcro in it velcro to my sketchbook if i can find the sketchbook that velcro to so this is kind of fun and it fits and it's a travel thing and you know for me usually i travel from like the living room to the kitchen um so that's kind of the reality so let's put this over here where we can see it and uh we'll have this over here i'm going to do the lay-in with the brush it's going to be a face i'm not going to show you uh, what the face looks like in case it doesn't look like the face when i'm done um, because I don't want to be accused of doing the wrong things. Okay, so let's have some fun. And then, uh, these are headphones right here. And I'm going to put on some highly selected, uh, 70s music and we're going to paint. We're just going to paint together. I'll mention certain parts as we go. But as people know in the classroom, I really can't draw and paint without music. So... Let's do the land. It's all going to be the same, kind of a Riley-esque type. And uh, we'll find some good music. Hmm. <laughs> Genesis. Religious music. This is Genesis, religious music. And this is Duke. So it's uh, religious music, which is the uh, book of Duke. Okay. And uh, now I'm going to move this little electrical wire out of the way and the laying can be done with anything doesn't matter what color it is um i usually don't think too much about color i mostly think about temperature so that's my big thing but you can do it how you want but in the end it's all about uh it's really all about um getting some water on some really dry paint Let's see, this is a glass cleaner, so that should be interesting. Okay. So, lay in. Keep it nice and free and loose. So I'm listening to Genesis on my right ear, so it's going to the left side of my brain, which could be very confusing. So while you're all thinking about that, I'll do the land. Here we go. So you want to go for the, the whole total, as Senior Vilpu would say, go for the total. On the side plane. This is a really extreme three quarters. 
Think of this as like a slice of pizza here, cutting out this little slice of pizza for the eye socket. Get to here, bam, Riley chart, there you go. Rhythm chart. Rhythm chart. Ear. Rhythm chart. Just walk on down into the lips here. This is mostly made up. I'm looking at a face, but it's not really the person I'm drawing. Try to move what you're drawing. Don't like don't just copy it. Like, if you have a slightly three quarters, make it really three quarters. You know, learn to move things because it's pretty much what you're gonna be doing professionally is moving things. Okay, and we're only at seven minutes, so let's get in there and have some fun. Now I'm kind of into shaking the brush, so I don't know how to shake your brush. It's kind of a guy thing, so you know, you gotta know how to shake it. All right, here we go. So what's the... They're gonna key it with a color. So that would probably mostly be olive green. So I'm gonna put in water masks. So wherever it's wet, Throw some paint. Okay, so if it's wet, don't give up an opportunity. Because it's, it's wet, it's cool. And core shadow. I'll lay the brush right on there on the eye socket. So the brush strokes will actually lay right on the rhythm chart. I'll change the rhythm, change the color. Super chill. If there's too much water, you can shake the brush and then just lay the brush down and just soak it right inside. It's time to get lost. We're at nine minutes. We'll stop pretty soon.
Okay, this is a good place to stop. Things are starting to get cut in, starting to get some shapes. I have a lot of work to do. So, but this is, you know, kind of a nice place to stop because we're trying to keep these around 10 minutes because they're just little daily videos. If you want the long ones, just go, go to the website. Okay, Portfolio Art School. Because those go on for really long times. Okay, I'm just going to press uh, stop and start again. Okay.